Visit cardsplug.com slash Dominic Rich FC to get yourself one of these uh, babies. Trust me, you won't regret it. You all will love it too. Use the coupon code Dominic Rich FC to get yourself 20% off for limited time only. Then the discount will go back down to 15. So hurry up. Guys, all the links would be in the description box down below. Thanks a lot for your continued support. This is an affiliate link. Every purchase helps the channel and helps the people over at Cards Plug. Whoa! Every single Liverpool fan this season, like, they're gonna be busting out the dance move, like... And like... And more like... Yes, because they have practically won the 2019-20 English Premier League title. They have won it. They're currently 22 points ahead of second place Man City, yeah, my team, Man City, second place, 22 points. And after 25 Premier League matches, Liverpool are on 73 points with 24 wins and a single draw, which means they can go unbeaten this season. They can complete an invincible season. The last Premier League team to do so was Arsenal FC back in 03-04 and before Arsenal it was Preston North End back in 1888-89 let's not discount that one even though it's over 100 years ago they still managed to do the invincible but I bet you guys don't know who was the last team in Europe to do the invincible well guys from my research it was Pauk I did not even realize Pauk did the invincible last season didn't realize that at all they were brilliant they were brilliant last season i could remember them missing out on champions league football but still Pauk was brilliant last season but the big question is will liverpool go invincible in the premier league this season 25 matches 24 wins one draw i ask you guys to let me know what you think in the poll and leave a comment well, 538 people voted and 84% think that Liverpool will go the entire 2019-20 English Premier League season unbeaten. And I mean unbeaten. Zero, Zero L's. L's. So, 16% says nope, not convinced. 16%. Well, you guys could be right and you could well be wrong. But the thing is, the majority said 84%. Is the majority of people Liverpool fans? Maybe, maybe not. But let me see what you guys said in the comments and then I'll let you know what I think. So, Aniket B says, No, they won't go as invincibles. They will lose one game just like they did last year. But it won't be against Man City. Ooh. Ooh. It will be a team that the footballing world least expect Someone like Everton. Mm, I, I don't think so, bro. I really don't think Liverpool are going to lose to Everton this season. Not this season. Also, I think that they have way too many games to play this season. So they won't be able to keep an invincible season. Well, when I say invincible season, I don't mean the Champions League and the other cups included. I'm only talking about the Premier League season. Okay? So, but I get what you're saying. The amount of game they have to play, it will definitely affect their chances of going unbeaten. But they have played a lot of matches so far. Six Champions League games, a few League Cup matches, FA Cup matches, Club World Cup, and 25 Premier League matches. Aniket B continues. But all this aside, it is safe to say that the football Liverpool is playing this season is untouchable. Well, if you're not going to call them the Invincibles, maybe you can call them the Untouchables, right? Klopp is doing wonders with this team. By the way, I'm a Barca fan, so everything I said is unbiased. Thank you very much, Aniket B, for leaving this wonderful comment. I really appreciate it, man. Daniel Joseph, he says, Unless Man City regains that aura of superiority that they had the past two seasons, or Everton slash Arsenal players find the urge to spoil Liverpool's party or protect their club's record, 
I doubt Liverpool have any risk of losing to any of the other clubs they face in the Premier League. Well said, and I will get to the clubs that they have to face in a second. They have 13 matches left, and I'll run through each and every single match and let you know what I think. Briefly though, briefly, I don't plan to spend 40 minutes on this video at all. The inside line says, would be nice if they do, but no biggie if they don't. Winning the league is everything, and I do understand and I feel what you're saying. Winning the league is everything. Look at how Liverpool fans are already celebrating. Come on. Winning the league is definitely everything. Dean Johnson says, it don't matter if they go invincible, just that they win the league. And yes, I, 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 I agree with you. I definitely agree with you. But doing it unbeaten would be like something extra special. Believe me. Believe me. That would be like... That, that, you, you think they're stunning the world right now? That would stun the galaxy. galaxy. Seriously. <laughs> you know what I mean? So someone with a kind of Serbian kind of Cyrillic writing or whatever this is says, We will see, but let's dream. Rusty Shakafort says, Will Clap elect to play the kids once they clinch it? I don't think so, bro. I don't think once it is mathematically won, Clap will be like, okay, now we have won it. Okay, you get a game, you get a game, you get a game, you get a game, and you get a game. No, I don't think so. I, I really don't think so. I think Clap would continue playing the first team. Seriously, unless they have a very crucial Champions League match coming up a few days after Premier League game. That's only how I could see him heavily rotating. Otherwise, I think Klopp would continue to feel strong 11s. And Rusty continued to say, so they will gain experience and go on to win Europe slash FA with Team 1. I don't know. We, we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. But I think Klopp would continue to play the strongest team he can, even after he wins the league. And if the league is clinched, as early as early March, let's say that, it would be a big advantage to Liverpool for them to actually go all guns blazing for the FA Cup and they will go all guns blazing for the Champions League. So that one is out of the question in terms of prioritizing the Champions League for the league. I think Liverpool just wants to continue playing how they've been playing, not taking the foot off the gas and... I think they want to. I think they want to win everything. Seriously, seriously, seriously. I think they would want to go for everything, and the squad is deep enough for them to rotate and still be strong. We have seen it the past few games. Sadio Mane injured, and still it's like he's still playing. Right? You know, doesn't make a difference. Patrick Silky would be great if we match Arsenal's record of the 2003 or 4 season, but I think your team could stop us or Arsenal. Arsenal ain't gonna stop Liverpool. Let's just say that. I will get to the matches, but Arsenal isn't gonna stop Liverpool. And the way we're playing, we ain't gonna stop Liverpool either. Right now, it looks like they're gonna go invincible, to be honest. And my, you know, verdict is coming out slowly. Otutu Confidence says, nice change of profile picture, bro, I like it. Liverpool is going to draw two games and win the rest. Well, we could see that, but I, we could see that, but it's hard to see them losing. It's really hard to see this team losing right now. And David Oguru says, I think they will win 12 and draw one random game. Well, look, thank you guys for voting. Thank you guys for leaving comments. I really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate the participation, man. It's like you're in class and you're participating. You're going to get extra points for that. But Liverpool... Will they go unbeaten this Premier League season? Will they do the Invincibles? You see, I took my time and made a nice Michael Jackson Invincible inspired thumbnail for you guys featuring your one and only Jurgen Klopp. So guys, just smash the thumbs up button for that. Let me know what you think. But, but, will Liverpool go unbeaten this season in the Premier League? Matches remaining. Matches remaining. Norwich versus Liverpool. 
Liverpool smashed Norwich early on in the season, destroyed them in the first half. Norwich came back hard in the second, but it was kind of too late. Norwich struggling right now. Could be a very dangerous team to play, especially on the road. They wouldn't want to stun Liverpool, get off the bottom of the Premier League table, and possibly survive. You know, they're not out of it yet. They're not relegated yet. Even though they have been at the bottom for quite some time, they can be a potential banana peel for this Liverpool team in terms of being invincible or even getting 100 points. But, are Norwich going to beat Liverpool? The most they can get is a draw. And I don't see that happening. So I'm going to see Liverpool win that one. That game is three days before their Champions League clash against Atletico Madrid. So I could see them rotating a few players, but not all not eight to nine players at all they're not gonna do what we do we're not gonna do what city does they won't rotate so many players so i think they'll take i think they take care of norwich we're not gonna talk about the atletico madrid game right now but after the atletico madrid game they play west ham again six days later and we saw what happened against west ham just a few days ago just maybe a week and a half or two weeks ago they're going to take care of West Ham. This is an Anfield match. They haven't lost at Anfield in almost three years or maybe it's three years. So I don't see them losing that one. Not against the Hammers. They've been playing like bums this season. Not against David Moyes for sure. Then they meet Watford. Watford at Vicarage Road. Well, this one could be a tricky one as well. But I think Liverpool should handle Watford five days after they play West Ham. They're going to be well rested. I think they're going to handle Watford. Then they meet Chelsea a couple of days later, early in March. And we're not going to talk about that one too much. But after the Chelsea match, they play Bournemouth at Anfield four days later. Anything at Anfield is a draw or a win. Most likely a win. Bournemouth, like this season, I don't see that happening. Four days later, they play Atletico Madrid again in the Champions League. We won't be talking about that one in this video. That has nothing to do with it. Everton versus Liverpool. Everton versus Liverpool. Merseyside Derby. Goodison Park. Goodison Park. Are Everton going to be the team to stop Liverpool from getting the invincible title this season? Carlo Ancelotti has been doing good things with this team. But to be honest, guys, to be honest, I don't see Everton beating Liverpool. Seriously. They host Crystal Palace at Anfield five days later. Don't see it happening. Man City, 4th of April. The title should be wrapped up by then. And they're going to come all guns blazing. They're going to come all guns blazing, and the most we're going to get from that, in my opinion, is a draw. Then they meet Aston Villa at Anfield. You could say that one is a win or a draw. Still unbeaten. Brighton, Amex Stadium, Brighton ain't going to beat Liverpool. Burnley at Anfield, they're not beating Liverpool. Liverpool at the Emirates Stadium against Arsenal. This is where it's going to get tricky. I understand what you guys said and I see how it's going to get tricky. You see the last few games, you see maybe after they play Man City, they would have already wrapped up the title mathematically. Anything after that, that City game, where they're going to give the all because of, you know, the bragging rights and they won't want to lose to Man City. Anything after that, Liverpool could lose because they could look to rotate. They could definitely look to rotate. But it's hard. It's really, really hard to see. It's really hard to see them... It's really hard to see them losing any games this season. 25 gone. They haven't lost any. Why would they lose in the last 13? We could well see another team having an invincible season. They could well lose to Newcastle on the final match day too. They could well lose. They could lose to Chelsea. There's a few tough games at the end there. Teams might be playing for survival, like maybe Newcastle will be playing for survival, we don't know. Maybe 
Aston Villa and the, the Brighton game is going to be tricky. These games, these guys will be playing for survival. It is really hard to say. It is really hard to say. But it's hard to see Liverpool losing any matches this season. After what they've done. Based on what they've done already in 25 matches, it's really hard to see Liverpool losing any matches. Seriously. I'm either going to be wrong or I'm going to be right. My verdict is Liverpool are going to go unbeaten this Premier League season. They're going to do it. Invincible. They are going to do it. As I said, I could be wrong. This video might, you know, make no sense two weeks from now. But I'm going to say it. They're going to go unbeaten. They can't be beaten. They can't be. I, I've watched every single match. Every single one of the 25 matches. I've seen it. I've watched it. I've reviewed all of them. And when you thought that they were going to lose, they found a way to win. Against United, when you thought they were going to lose that game, Lallana popped up at the far post to score. I'm going to go with Liverpool, invincible for the 2019-20 season, winning their first Premier League title in 30 years. Seriously. Seriously, it's real. It's going to happen. A lot of records are going to break. A lot of records are going to be broken this season. It's really hard to be saying this right now, but I have to say it. It needs to be said. If you're not brave enough to say it, I'm going to say it. Invincible. So guys, um, thanks for watching this video. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And until next time, peace out. Rich Squad.